For over a decade, the home of the geckos has been plagued with overcrowding, and the school year will be no different. Come the start of classes August 19th, DOE Superintendent John Fernandez says they anticipate a student population of 2,700, when the reality is the Mingilao campus was only built for 2,100. I've been in active discussion with uh, Henry Taitano, uh, administrator of Gita, about um, the possibility of both uh, having a central high school as well as um, our administrative offices up at Tizen. He's referring to the Cortec facility in Tizen. As we've been reporting of Guam's existing lease, gives the option to purchase the Tizen site, which currently serves as an interim campus for the Onslaught Middle School Wildcats. Earlier this year, the governor's office requested DOE's plans for the facility, as public law gives them first dibs. Right now, GW uh, opens up at 2,700 uh, students every year and uh, the capacity over at the Central High School is about 1,900. So I think, uh, you know, just running the numbers back of the envelope, that we could probably run two schools of about 1,500 each at, Central, at the Central High School and also at GW. The end result, less focus on packed classrooms and more attention on DOE's true mission to educate students. That'll give you some room for growth. Uh, in case you do see uh, an increased population. But at 1,500, that's really a manageable population. We can turn our attention away from a number of the, the crowding issues, the population issues, the discipline issues, and focus more on the instructional needs and outcomes for our students. The facility could also house DOE central offices as well as other administrative offices. I think the long-term vision is really to determine how we can consolidate the rest of our, our uh, administrative functions over there. Uh, for instance, we have a special education department over at Chief Brody Middle School, uh, Chief Brody Elementary School, that would allow us to, uh, if we can consolidate, to free up some space and look at the future of Chief Brody, for instance. Although he's expressed his vision informally, Governor Di Cavo's education advisor Vince Leon Guerrero says Adaloop has yet to receive anything in writing. The important part about the plan in writing is that are they going to be talking about? Uh, shifting attendance areas? Are they going to be talking about consolidating possibly some schools? We don't know. There's a lot of options on the table. Uh, DOE has to engage its stakeholders and I'm sure that that's a process that uh, Superintendent Fernandez is undertaking at this point. Meanwhile, Gita Administrator Henry Titano says Gita is assessing DOE's needs to make for